All right, it is 1130. And I want to thank everyone for joining us. Today's December the 26th, and uh, it's the day after Christmas, and uh, uh, this is usually uh, briefings held on Monday, so we moved it to Tuesday. And so, uh, again, we'd like to thank everyone. We hope everyone had a safe Christmas. Um, well, if, if, if you've been out and about the last few days, um, you know it's been pretty mild, and um, that's going to continue. Um, but first, I want to look at uh, and show everyone where we've seen rainfall over the last 24 hours. Uh, real quick, got ahead of myself. Uh, let's look at the radar, uh, regional radar. And, um, you know, we've seen this, this, this axis of rainfall uh, that's just been set up basically over the, uh, the mountains and the foothills of North Carolina um, pretty much since yesterday, um, yesterday afternoon. Um, and that axis should remain mostly to our west um, until uh, this evening and tonight. Um, so that's the latest radar. And then if we go back and we look at the rainfall over the last 24 hours, you can see, uh, especially down across the southern portions of the mountains and foothills, including Asheville, this axis of, 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 of heavy rain. Uh, I think we looked and Asheville had around two inches of rainfall as of 7 a.m. this morning. And then down to the south of there, you can see in the red there, we're looking at rainfall of three to five inches. So, um, you know, th th they've seen some pretty heavy rain and, and that's why there's flood watches in that area. Uh, and then when you look over into our western Piedmont, including the triad, uh, we've seen rainfall amounts of, of about uh, a tenth to about a half an inch as you get into Winston-Salem. And, th and that's kind of what we're going to see with this system. I'll go over that in the next couple of slides is we're going to see a very sharp gradient across the western part of the state, axis of heavy rainfall, and we're going to see amounts for the most part, uh, tend to diminish as you go east. Um, so, uh, as we look ahead, um, here's our weather pattern. So basically, we have an area of low pressure. Uh, that's uh, there's actually a series of weak low pressure systems that's across the southeast. Um, the one area of low pressure developing there off the coast of Florida and Georgia, that is the one that's supposed to become the more dominant low pressure system and it's forecast to track slowly to the north, northeast, up the Carolina coast. Um, and that's basically the system that's going to bring us our rain. Um, you know, we're looking at um, impact wise, we're looking at very mild temperatures. Uh, so today, you know, we're looking at temperatures um, in the upper 50s to around 60 out in the western part, the western Piedmont whereas we're going to see low to mid 60s elsewhere. And we'll see even milder temperatures tomorrow as that low gets even closer um, as it moves through the Carolinas. And we'll also see periods of, of rain, especially across the western part of the state. Um, but overall, uh, we're looking at rainfall mounts of um, ranging, uh, again, a very sharp gradient from across western North Carolina to eastern North Carolina. Um, and, and, and I'll show you that it's expected rainfall in the, in the following slides. Well, that area of low pressure will move off to the northeast uh, late Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. And once that lifts off to the north, we're, we're looking at a much drier period. Um, we're also going to look at some cooler temperatures arriving on Friday with the passage of a cold front. Now, there is a, there, there is a system, an upper level system that's going to swing through um, it, it looks like now models have not been very consistent with, with trying to forecast this, this area of light precipitation, but uh, there will be a, a slight chance of some showers sometime Friday, maybe even extending sometime into Saturday, but rainfall amounts should be pretty light. But other than that, it should be a dry forecast uh, all the way uh, into New Year's Day. Um, and then our next weather system, and, and there's, there's lots of uncertainty at this point, um, there is currently a non-zero chance that we could see some winter precipitation with that system. Uh, that would probably, the earliest would probably be New Year's, uh, New Year's night and into Tuesday. Um, uh, but right now, again, lots of model spread, but that's something we'll be looking at uh, here for the next several days. Uh, with that area of low pressure lifting up, uh, towards the Carolinas today and tomorrow. Um, we're going to see a chance of some isolated thunder. 
uh, not posing really any severe threat. Um, but it, don't be surprised if we see, you know, or if you hear um, a, an isolated rumble of thunder. And, and at this point uh, for today, it looks like it would probably a best chance would be across the western part of the state. But it could happen anywhere. And this this is through tonight. And then in, and then tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, we'll see the thunder chances basically be confined towards the coast along that area of low pressure and then quiet after that. Um, here is a, here's our expected rainfall through tomorrow evening. Um, and you can see that very sharp gradient I was talking about. So you can see as much as, as, as one to two inches, uh, maybe a little bit higher um, across extreme um, uh, western Piedmont, talking about Forsyth County and Davidson County. Um, and then a minimum here across our, our southeast, our southern coastal plain, where as little as a quarter of an inch as possible. Um, and because of that one to two inches of rain, uh, there is a slight risk for some for some flooding. Um, it would be minor flooding and it would be mostly in urban areas. Uh, but that threat, you know, appears to be greatest uh, tonight and early tomorrow if we're going to see any kind of flooding. Um, in terms of the drought, well, you can see um, uh, all of the uh, all of the moderate to severe droughts is, is still currently over our western part of the state. So this is this is really good news on this front, um, and 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 so expect uh, not this week. Uh, we will not see any updates to these these graphics this week, but next week uh, we expect to see large improvements um, across the western part of the state in terms of drought. So. Looking at the eight to 14 day outlook, um, it, it looks like, you know, uh, after we get past this mild stretch, um, there, there, there's a decent chance of below normal temperatures in the week two period. We're talking basically January 2nd to January 8th. That is our climatological favor time where we, you know, if we're going to get winter weather, um, it starts basically in January and into early February. Uh, so we will monitor that because we, we also have above normal precipitation chances. Um, and if you happen to sit in um, on our winter weather Skywarn training that was presented earlier in the month, and I think it's presented again on December 29th, you can check our webpage there. Uh, we talk about how above normal precipitation is very common in strong El Ninos, which is what we currently have. So this fits um, basically all of our El Nino composites of, of, of a wet winter. Okay. So uh, that trend looks like it's going to continue. So expect a continuation of improving drought. Uh, real quick, looking at the, the, the hazards you can see, uh, really the, the only threat uh, is, is basically today and tonight. And that's with that area of heavy rain across our, 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 our weather, western Piedmont. Um, and, and so this is the area where we could see some, some mostly minor flooding. And again, that's going to be in urban areas. Um, Here's the overview. I'm not going to cover all this, but basically, um, wet and unsettled today and tomorrow, especially if you live uh, in the western part of our CWA. Um, but then drying out on on Thursday, uh, and temperatures really starting to become more seasonable. Uh, if you're not a fan of the mild temperatures uh, Friday and into the weekend, uh, basically looking at highs uh, in the low to mid 50s with lows uh, around freezing uh, as we get into the weekend. And we'll continue now. Uh, be careful. Always, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of folks out on social media these days that like to put out their forecasts. So d just make sure you're you know you're getting it from a credible source. Uh, but we're we're watching a system early next week. Uh, looks more to be more late Monday night into Tuesday. We're looking for any potential for winter weather. Right now is just it's just too uncertain to say. So we'll continue to monitor that, and hopefully on Thursday's briefing we can give you a more update.